Hello everyone, you are watching Disney Basketball on USDS and today we have the New York Waverly's team up against the Boston Tiptons. And now we were directly heading off to our virtual Madison Square Garden in New York City where today's game take place. And here we are. Thanks for joining us through the today's uh, basketball game between the Waverly's and the Tiptons. Both teams are still in their preparation for the game. And in the meantime, we take a short look on the starting lines from both teams. Zach Martin, alongside with her teammates, Esteban Ramirez, Kirby Morris, Marion Mosby, and Max. And to the Waverleys. Changes didn't exist in comparing to their last game against the La Jolla Sirens. And now, the players are finally ready. The broadcasters are ready. And the crowd, too. So, let's move on to the tip-off. And we are officially underway. The Waverly's got possession at center field and Jack Russo is in possession. And by the way, that is the second uh, game from the, uh, from the Waverly's in this season. And um, they have lost their... Um, First game against the uh, La Jolla Sirens with 62-56, but um, comparing to their to their games from the first season, it was uh, they have showed us some improvement in comparing to their games in a in their first season. And um, but the today's opponent wouldn't be that easier. Because the Boston Tiptons has reached eight victories out of ten games in their last season, by the way, and that's what, and that's the reason why it wouldn't be that easy today for the Waverleys. And yeah, and uh, as you remember, ladies and gentlemen, in my last video I have uh, put a small intro, and um, someone of the viewers have written me a comment that says that the intro is uh, too loud and uh, because of that I have turned down the volume a little bit in order that you in audio in order that you can hear my voice better in order to, to hear in order that you can hear my voice a little bit better and um, Greetings from USDS to the viewer that have written that to us, and um, and if you watch this, and if you watch this, if you watch this video right now, I hope that you can hear our voice a little bit better too. So now let's uh, get back to the game, and uh, the Boston Tips are in the lead up by five to two, and now. Justin Russo has made a three pointer from deep, 5 to 5. His score is equal. Now Zach Martin in possession. Zach Martin from deep again and shut it off. And just, uh, Jerry Russo was where to grab his miss. Now Jerry Russo for free, shut us off, but Kevin Russo is there to get the ball back. Kevin Russo managed to get the ball back, sorry. And didn't nail, and didn't nail the second chance opportunity. Uh, and didn't use the ch second chance opportunity, sorry. And But Kirby Morris has made it better on the other side of the court. He has used the second chance opportunity to bring his team in the lead, 7-5. to five. Now, Jerry Russo, good defending by Marion Mosby. And... Jerry Russo wasn't able to... prevail... to prevail against Mosby. Now, Esteban Rios for free, no! And Justin Russo was there to grab the miss. From the Beverly's. 
Now he finds Zig Wickerman on the right side wing. Zig Wickerman for, for, from deep. No, and Kevin Russo managed to get the ball back. Rebuilt by the Waverleys. And uh, Jerry Russo nailed a close range shot. 7-7 seven seven, scores equal again. Now Zach Martin. Zach Martin to Max. Max from deep. Yes! And that's the lead for the Boston tip then 10 to 7. First three points from her in the game. Now Zeke Bikerman. Zeke Bikerman. Zeke Bikerman to Justin Russo. Justin Russo, what does he do? Five seconds left for the flow, kicks the ball to Alex Russo. Alex Russo for free, shut us off. Now Max. Max to Marion Mosby. Marion Mosby from deep. And the shot gets off the mark. Now the Waverlys has a little bit space right now. Sieg Bikerman on the inside zone. Sieg Bikerman against Zach Martin. Finds Justin Russo on the other side of the wing. Justin Russo from deep. 10-10. Scores equal again. For the third time in this quarter. And Boston, the Boston Tiptons takes their first time out in this game. And now we've had some substitutions in this game. Mason Grayback, Max Russo, Hugh Normis and Dean Moriarty gets in for the Waverleys. Pickett, Bob, Arvin Hockhauser and Tailworm gets in for the Boston Tiptons. Now Avin Hockhaus number for throw in, finds Woody Fink at the three point line, kicks the ball to Bailey Pickett. Bailey Pickett is on the inside zone, kicks the ball to Bob on the right side wing. Ball get, and he kicks the ball back to Bailey Pickett, three seconds left for the throw, he has to take the shot from deep. Yes, 13 to 10 for the Tiptons. One minute left in the first quarter. Now Mason Gray back to Max Russo. Max Russo for free. Shut it off. And Bailey Pickett grabs the miss. Arvin Hockhaus now in the inside zone. Arvin Hockhauser. Arvin Hockhauser. And that was a reach in foul from Max Russo. And that leads to a throw in for the Tiptons. 15 seconds left for the offensive action. Arvin Hockhauser with a throw in. Gets the pass through to Tailworm. Tailworm kicks the ball to Bailey Pickett. And now Bob from deep. Uh, and his shot gets off the mark. Now Hugh Normus. Hugh Normus kicks the ball to Inoriati on, on the low post. Back to Hugh Normus on the outside. And shot is off. Arvin Hockhauser grabs his miss. 15 seconds left in the first quarter. Arvin Hockhauser. To Bob. Bob for free. No. And that would be the last offensive action in the first quarter. One second left for the flow. He has to take the shot from a three pointer. And that is not the buzzer beater. And that is, was the end of the first quarter. The Boston Tipton signed the lead up by three points. And we were directly heading off to the second quarter, or in other words, the second part of the first half, ladies and gentlemen. And here we are, back with the second quarter. Boston Tippins with a throw in. Patrick to Bailey Pickett. Bailey Pickett kicks the ball to Bob on the outside. Bob has the ball to Cody Martin on the right side on the left side wing. Back to Bailey Pickett. But Patrick 
managed to get the ball back and nailed the second chance opportunity with a layup and he gets a bonus free throw at all because of a shooting foul by Taylor Robinson the first foul in this game by the way and that is uh, the chance for a three pointer for Patrick he nails the free throw and he does it 16 to 10 Now Mason Greyback with a pass to Talia Robinson. Talia Robinson, what does she do? Finds Ray Van Huysen on the right side wing. Ray Van Huysen from deep and she missed her shot. Now Bob in possession to Bailey Pickett. Bailey Pickett from deep. And Pedale. That's her second three point succeed in this game. 19 to 10. Six points from her right now. Now Juliet van Huysen against Patrick. Juliet van Huysen kicks the ball to Mason Greyback. Mason Greyback kicks the ball to Talia Robinson. Three seconds left for the throw. She has to take the shot from deep. Ooh, and that was a very great shot from deep. The ball is swooshed right through the net. Great shot. Now Cody Martin to Bailey Pickett. Bailey Pickett's shot is off. Now Mason Greyback. Mason Greyback. What does he do? She, he is in the inside zone. Mason Greyback for two. No good. With the two pointer. And now Cody Martin in possession. Now Bob is in the inside zone. Bob can sell your Robinson. Decided to kick the ball to, Mace, uh, to Bailey Pickett. And uh, the second chance of it. And uh, the Tiptons wasn't able to use the second chance and third chance opportunity. And now, and the sc score is still 19 to 30. Now Bailey Pickett in the inside zone, kicks the ball to Bob on the outside. And Bob succeeds from a three point line. 2020 20 to 13. They're uh, 22 to 13. And now, timeout for the Waverleys. No, Alex Russo with a flow in. Alex Russo. Kicks the ball to Kelber Russo, his uncle. And Kelber Russo kicks the ball to Jerry Russo, the captain. Jerry Russo against Patrick. And Jerry Russo isn't able to prevail against Patrick. Great defensive effort from, from him, by the way. And uh, yeah, in his defense. Uh, Patrick, it's difficult to um, score a bucket against a guy like Patrick because he's um, a tall one and uh, he waits a bit. I don't know. I don't know exactly how much, honestly, and uh, that's why it is so difficult to score against him. And now, but now Max for free and shut us off and Alex Russo grabs a miss. Now Talia Robinson. Talia Robinson to Alex Russo. Alex Russo for two. Yes. 25 to 15.
And the Tiptons are taking time out. Now Esteban Rodriguez kicks the ball to Zach Martin in the inside zone. Zach Martin to Mosby on the outside. Mosby. Kicks the ball back to Zach Martin. Zach Martin for free. And the shot gets off the mark. Now Zigby come in. Zigby come in against Mosby right now. Ball gets back to Zigby come in. Zigby come in finds Jay Russo in the inside zone. And he passes to his son, Jerry Russo. Back to Zeke Bikerman. And uh, the shot went off target. Now Esteban Marimis. He has some space. He finds Zach Martin in the inside zone. But uh, his pass gets out of bounds. And that leads to and throw in for the Waverleys. Now Alex Russo, one minute left in the in his first half, ladies and gentlemen. It's Russo to Jerry Russo, Jerry Russo for free, no! Yeah, as you can see there, um, both teams are struggling a little bit, but uh, both teams has made a good game until now, and Mosby kicks the ball back to Zach Martin on the outside, Zach Martin for free, no! Kevin Russo grabs the miss. Now Jerry Russo. Zeke B come in to J Justin Russo. Justin Russo for free! No, but Kevin Russo managed to get the ball back. Rebuild by the Waverly. Zeke B come in. Ten seconds left for the offensive action. Alex Russo from deep. Yes! 25 to 18. Three seconds left. One last shot in the first half from Zach Martin! And that was a great long distance shot from him. Are you kidding me? Zach Martin with a 28 to 18 and the buzzer beater. And it was the first time that a long distance shot gets into the net of a basket, ladies and gentlemen. Great shot from him. Wow. I collapsed. And yeah, that was... Uh, um, Finally, the end of the second uh, of the first half, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, and um, yeah, the um, Tiptons has increased their lead a little bit. They are up by ten points right now, and um, could they keep up the lead, or could they Waverly make a comeback in the second half? We will reveal it right now. Reveal it right now. So buckle up, folks, for the. Second half, ladies and gentlemen. And here we are. Back with the second half. The Boston Timson lead up by 28 to 18. Esteban Ramirez in the inside zone. Esteban Ramirez with a close win shot for two. Yes, 30, 30 to 18. Now Justin Russo. Uh, ooh, what was that for a pass? It was a pass in the middle of nowhere. And yeah. Uh, from Justin Russo and that leads to a throw in for the Boston Tiptons. Are the Waverleys a little bit nervous right now? Maybe they are. But now but first Zach Martin but for now Zach Martin for free and shut us off. Jerry Russo. Tim Russo to Zeke become in. Je Justin Russo, three seconds left for the floor. Justin Russo inside zone against Zach Martin. Justin Russo for two, yes. 
30 to 20. Bastian Russo, the best player of his team right now in, the, in the today's game. He scored eight points. No, Zack Martin for free! No! Justin Russo. Justin Russo to Jerry Russo. Jerry Russo for two. No. And now Max to Zach Martin. Zach Martin to Mary Mose. Mary Mose with a wide open shot from deep. Shut is off. And Jerry Russo grabs his miss. Jerry Russo now against Zach Martin. Kicks the ball to his son, Justin Russo. Justin Russo to Alex Russo, his sister. Sieg Bikerman from deep. Shut is off, but Kerry Russo managed to get the ball back. And he nailed the second chance opportunity for the Waverleys. He finished, uh, sorry, he finished the second chance opportunity with a layup. 30 to 20 20. Now Zach Martin against Justin Russo. Finds Kerry Morris on the outside. Kerry Morris kicks the ball to Mary Mosby on the right side wing and uh, Marion Mosby has, has missed his shot. Missed his shot. Now Alex Roos is in the inside zone against Kirby Morris. Kirby Morris walks back and she decides to kick the ball to Justin Russo. But now ball is back to uh, is back to gets back to Alex Russo and Alex Russo made a pass in the middle of nowhere and uh, let that leads to a throw-in for the Boston Tiptons. Yeah, and that was a, a second passing uh, mistake from the Waverleys in the third quarter. Like I said a few months ago, the, it seems that, a little, that the Waverleys are a little bit nervous right now and uh, Max has made the close range shot, by the way, 32 to 2020, and timeout by the Waverleys. And uh, I definitely believe that the Herschel Levitate is not satisfied uh, right now to the beginning performance at the in the first half from his team. And now they are with a throw-in, Hugh Normus. Hugh Normus kicks the ball to Max Russo. Max Russo to Justin Russo. Ball gets back to Max Russo. Max Russo from deep. And there, there's a bucket. 32 to 25. Now Zach Martin, the team captain of the Boston Tiptons. Zach Martin kicks the ball to Avin Hockhauser in the inside zone. Ball gets back to Zach Martin. Zach Martin from deep, yes. 35 to 25. Hmm. Another Waverly's player with a shot from deep and he didn't succeed from a three point line. And now great pass to Avin Hakosa on the left side to on the right side wing. Ball gets back to Zach Martin. Zach Martin from deep. And his shot went off the mark. Now Justin Russo to Max Russo. Max Russo, what does he do? Max Russo kicks the ball back to his son, uh, to his brother. Justin Russo, Max Russo for deep. No. Score is still 35 to 25. And now Max is in possession to Zach Martin. Zach Martin prevails well against this defender. And he gets the chance to pick up the points from a free throw line because of a 
Shooting foul from his defender Hugh Normas. Two free throws for Zach Martin right now. And the first one is in. Let's see if he can make two out of two. And yeah, that's the case. He has made two out of two from the free throw line, and um, due to the free throw succeeds, he increased the lead up to 12 points. And now Zeke becomes in from deep! And shut is off, and Bob has grabbed the miss. Arvin Hocker is now in the inside zone, he has some space right now. Arvin Hocker is against his defender. And what does he do? He kicks the ball back to Bob. Bob for free! And there's the bucket, 42-25. Now the Boston Tipton's are lead up by 15 points. And yeah, that is a, and I must say, that's a comfortable lead for the Tiptons, ladies and gentlemen. It would be difficult for the Waverleys to get an early result in the last quarter, but but for now Bob for two, no, but Arvin Hockhauser was there to grab his miss and finish the rebound with a layup. 42 to 25. Sieg Bikerman from deep, yes, 42 to 28. Yeah, and that was the end of the third quarter. The Boston Tiptons has increased their lead a little bit. They are now up by exactly 14 points. And yeah, like I said a few moments ago, it, it would be very difficult to um, get near the result of the Boston Tiptons in the last quarter. And um, But the Waverleys can be surprising us at all. And... Um, Yeah, who knows whether the Waverleys would surprise us in the last quarter. And that's we will finally reveal right now. And that is what we finally reveal right now, sorry. And now, um, but, but for now, the Boston Tiptons has made a great steal to the... It's made a great uh, turnover, and uh, they are now in possession with, and they begin with a throw-in, and they're now in possession. Bailey Pickett to Patrick, Patrick to Max, Max for free. No. Russo for free, no, and Kirby Morris grabbed the miss. Now Max to Patrick. Trick to Max. Bailey Pickett again to Max, and but Kirby Morris managed to get the ball back and uh, finished the finished the second chance opportunity with a layup, 44 to 28. Now Mason Graver, Mason Baybeck from deep! No! And yeah, and um, Max for free again? No, but yeah, we miss, yeah. After, after approximately two minutes in the um, Last quarter, I must say that the Boston Tiptons have to bring this have to bring this thing home. They 
had to be out as a winner. They have to go out as a winner at, at the end of the game, and because um, I think there are um, two, there are two less time to get near the result of the Boston Tiptons. And uh, and uh, with the table, I meant the new uh, Waverly with death, of course. And uh, now they had the uh, missed uh, shot again, and now Bailey Pickett against Jerry Russo. He decides t she decides to kicks the ball to Max on the outside and Max succeeds from a three point line 49 to 31 and um, I must say uh, the Boston Tiptons uh, dominating in the last quarter right now The Beverly's uh, hadn't scored much. Uh, hadn't scored that much baskets. Hadn't scored that. Hadn't sc sorry. Hadn't scored that much uh, baskets in the beginning of the uh, fourth quarter. And uh, now the Boston Tiptons are in the lead up by 20 points, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and it would be a miracle if the. If the Waverly's get near the result of the Boston Tiptons. By at least approximately three minutes. That's not possible for the Waverly. So uh, I can say, uh, yeah, congratulations. Three minutes before the end of the game, congratulations to the Boston Tiptons. Uh. No, but, but for now, Alex Russo for free and shut us off. Yeah. No, Zach Martin. Zach Martin to Max. Max to Zach Martin. Zach Martin from deep. Yes. And the Boston Tiptons continuing their domination over the New York Waverleys. The crowd is very quiet right now. Yeah. And um, I can definitely understand that because. Um, yeah, like I said a few moments ago, in, in, in the beginning of the last quarter, uh, they didn't they didn't score that much baskets. Yeah, and uh, and I didn't see any improvement from the New York Waverleys uh, two minutes uh, before the end of the game. Yeah, and two minutes before the end of the game, I didn't see any improvement to the New York Waverleys. And now they get uh, doubled from the Boston Tiptons. And yeah, that would be a, a jump ball. Yeah, the ref blows the whistle for the jump ball. And the Waverleys got possession in the inside zone. And they now get four seconds left for the offensive action. And uh, Alex Russo isn't able to nail the layup. No tailworm. No Max from deep. No, shut us off. And Kevin Russo grabbed a miss. No Sieg Bikerman. Sieg Bikerman is in the 92 zone. Sieg Bikerman against Kirby Morris. Sieg Bikerman walks back and kicks the ball to Justin Russo, go back to his sister, Alex Russo, Alex Russo from deep, and uh, her shot gets out of bounds, and uh, now flowing for the Boston Tiptons, and now we've had some substitutions, Robinson, Max Russo, Hunomis, Haber, Finkel, and Joel van Huysen comes in for the Waverleys. No, Bob to Arvin Hockhauser. Arvin Hockhauser. One, one minute. We have still one minute left in, in the game. And uh, Patrick managed to 
get the ball back after the miss of Arvin Hockhauser. And yeah, Patrick finished the second chance opportunity for his team with a layup, 56 to 31. Now Talia Robinson. Talia Robinson to Max Russo. Hugh Normas from deep, yes. But um, this three point succeed comes way too late. Uh, there's still 30 seconds uh, left in the game, and uh, it isn't possible to get near the 56 uh, points of Boston Tiptons. But Bob for free, and Patrick managed to get the ball back. Rebuilt by the Tiptons, and now Bob is in possession. Five seconds left in the game. Marvin Hockhauser to Bob. But yeah, that was finally the end of the game. The Tiptons has dominated the Waverleys in their own stadium. That is, that would be, uh, and uh, yeah, that is um, embarrassing for the Waverleys. I think and um, yeah, they had um, they had not a good day in the today's game and um, yeah. And by the way, the player of the game is uh, Zach Martin. They got uh, that has got a long distance shot. And yeah, and um, his final statistics are 11 points, 3 rebounds and 2 assists. And uh, yeah, to the New York Waverleys, um, the Waverleys have played a way better game against the La Jolla Sirens in their first game in this year. And um, today there was, um, there was definitely not that good. And yeah. In other words, they had a bad day in the today's game, and um, yeah, the Boston Tiptons are totally deserve their victory. They have won won by twenty two points, ladies and gentlemen, and yeah, that is that is uh, where we might that is. Uh, very much in basketball and yeah, like I said, that was in domination from the Boston Tiptons today and yeah, I can't say it often enough, they have totally deserved their victory and um, yeah, last but not least, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and take care and goodbye.